Hello and welcome back. Nice to see you again. Today's recipe is going to be a family favorite, a friends and family favorite of mine. Is that correct? Friends and family, my friends and family favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a vegan gluten-free biscotti I know I can't get it out it's a vegan gluten-free biscotti really simple the easiest ingredients let's just get into it so you don't have to listen to me real anymore okay so I'm going to make a double recipe so if you want to make um, probably about 10 biscottis if you want to make just 10 then please just half everything that I'm going to do I make double because I've noticed that the 10 just isn't good enough not for me not for my kin so to start I am using um, almond flour and it's going to be two cups two and a half cups so if you're going to half it you're obviously going to do one and a quarter let me just grab my cups out of this little thing Jeez. so there's a half when I tell you it's a friend and family favorite it is a friend and family favorite Okay, these things go like wildfire in my house. So now that that's done, we're gonna go in with a half a teaspoon. Let's have a tablespoon. Where's my half a teaspoon? Can't find it. So half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then same for the salt, half a teaspoon of salt. I forgot to mention that you need to have your oven preheating. Oven's preheating at 350 degrees. Delightful, okay, moving on. We're gonna do two tablespoons of tapioca starch. You could use arrowroot starch. Uh, this is also called potato starch. I'm assuming that you could probably just use corn starch as well, but I've never tried it, so that's on you. If it messes up, that's not the right word. Next, we're going to just blend all of that together. This should be sitting on there. Because I don't want any weird clumps of like baking soda to salt to baking soda to salt, you know, to almond flour. That's just not, not what we need. Okay, next we're going to add in um, our mix-ins. I'm just using slivered almonds. That should be good. And chocolate chips. So I grab just over probably about a third of a cup of chocolate chips. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. And a little chocolate knife. And we're really just going for a rough chop here. Just so that you're not getting a full mouth of chocolate. We're trying to spread the love. I already tried to film this recipe video once before. I didn't even get them in the oven the second time before I knew it. There was four biscottis left. Okay, so this is going to go into our bowl as well. I'm a tyrant. Again, we're mixing all of the drixing. <laughs> we're mixing all of the dry. Incorporate. Looks lovely. So now we go in with our um, wet ingredients. And the wet ingredients is very simple. Two ingredients. We're going to go in with, this is a lot, but half a cup of maple syrup. Again, if you're doing the one recipe. So if you want to just try this recipe out, I'm telling you it's no fail though. Um, if you want to just try it out, go for the single recipe. After that, we go in with almond extract. And I'm telling you that this is a necessity, okay? So I'm gonna do, oh God. <laughs> Let's pour some of that back. Just over half a teaspoon, okay? That was exciting. And we're going to incorporate. So you should already have a baking sheet lined with your silicone baking mat or your uh, parchment paper if you use those. Um, but just working to incorporate everything. And it will 
incorporate. It will be, uh, it will get moldable. All right, so let's just test. Perfect, so you just need it to stick together like that. Gouda, let's get a sheet going. You need your hands, you need the warmth from your hands. Cutting the dough in half. Make two separate logs essentially is what it's going to look like and they will expand baking soda and then really puffs them up grab every last bit because we don't waste in this household again rolling and you have your two logs you're just going to press them down and make them a little bit flatter and a little bit longer like so so once you've got your desired shape could shape this however you like. You could even make just little cookie balls or cookies with this recipe would be good. The only thing that differentiates, differentiates this from a cookie is the fact that we bake it a couple times. So once you've got your desired, you know, cookie, <laughs> we put it in the oven. And they go in the oven for... 12 minutes on the first round. All right, these need to go in the oven for another 12 minutes at 300 degrees, just to get a little bit harder. <laughs> Gifts. <laughs> and then they never got anywhere. Can I take one? Yes. Try a little bite skis. <laughs> yeah. You like? Very good. Rating. It tastes like, like a regular. Rating. I'm gonna give it out of 10. A 9.2 out of 10 biscotti. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Uh, I smell the wine oranges and dependability. He had a great comforter. He was a great comforter. Biscotti. I was in heaven. Biscotti. Mm-hmm. Do you? Delicious.